Hello, my name is Abdullah al -Jibrin, and this is a promo video for our paper on the analysis and detection of pink slime websites in social media posts. Uh, first, I will give you some background information on the phenomenon of pink slime journalism. So what does the term pink slime mean and how did it uh, become known in the United States? The term itself, pink slime, first used in 2002 to refer to some meat byproducts that have been used as additives or fillers to lower the overall fat content of ground beef. Ten years later, this term has been used again by a journalist to refer to an emerging phenomena of websites that claim to be local news outlets. And local news outlets have been uh, gaining more trust uh, more than national news, especially during the time of elections, which explain the motivation behind this website posing as local news, even though they don't have any physical uh, presence locally. These uh, so-called pink slime outlets consist of several large networks. Each of them uh, has tens or hundreds of pink slime outlets. Outlets from the same network appear like you see have similar design or reuse many of their uh, news articles. Also, many of these outlets uh, appear to target local national events like US uh, elections. Other than that, they often uh, publish automated stories. Our problem is focused on the consumption of these uh, pink slime websites in social media, specifically X or Twitter. We attempt uh, in our work to analyze the consumption or the presence of these URLs and leverage that into developing uh, a detecting approach using features from uh, derived from the syntax uh, of these tweets or posts. Our data set consists of pink slime news and non pink slime news. In our analysis, uh, we performed multiple studies, including the segmentation of posts containing URLs, meaning that for each post, we follow the text of the post and match it with the linked uh, news article. For example, TTL or title, meaning that the posts contain uh, the title of the news article. And BDY or body uh, means that the post contain part of the body of the article. And the third label, USR or user, where we assume that the text is originated from, not from the article, but from the user themselves. Finally, we use the previous findings to build a set of features for a detection approach.